With SpaceX's latest success, I'd like to say a few words. This is truly a historic and proud moment in the history of space exploration. Proud not only for Americans, but the entire world's population. Despite getting off to a bumpy start... And lift off. We've had a cut off. The Dragon cleared the tower and went on to become the first ever privately owned spacecraft to rendezvous with the International Space Station. When I heard astronaut Don Pettit radio in to say, uh, Houston Station looks like we got us a dragon by the tail. I knew then that this would forever be the shorthand description of the mission, a description that would be quoted for generations to come. The mission has paved the way for making space accessible to the average citizen. Even though this flight was commissioned by NASA, the company SpaceX has its own goals to follow, independent and free from the constraints of any government-controlled agenda. I think I speak for everyone at SpaceX in saying that the Dragon has proved its capability and has more than passed anyone's highest expectations. If there was any disappointment, it would have to be the loss of television signals that occurred moments before the Dragon and ISS made contact and later detached. Two historic moments that demand to be remembered visually, and sadly all we have are the before and after shots. But there are still more missions to come. SpaceX is still a long way from sending men to Mars, or even the Moon, but they are already light years ahead of their best customer. The Falcon 9 Heavy is scheduled for launch as early as December this year, and in December 2013, the Falcon 9 will send the first privately owned unmanned lander to the Moon and their unmanned Red Dragon mission could be as early as 2018. SpaceX is still yet to unveil their strategy for manned Mars flights, and they are of course still a long way from such a mission. But in a previous video, I theorized how they might be planning on getting to Mars based on all the available information. I predict either the Vasimir will send the Dragon to Mars, with the hydrogen fuel tanks protecting the crew on the ride over, or the Falcon 20 will launch the Dragon with its living quarters and radiation shelter modules, with a Falcon 20 Heavy lifting the Earth departure stage. I am quite eager to see how accurate my educated guesses are. Truth be told, although my predictions may prove to be inaccurate, I am quite confident that this will be their strategy. And if it is, SpaceX will have finally solved the number one obstacle to manned deep space exploration. That being said, I believe in the Dragon and I'm eager to see SpaceX, the Musk Dynasty, lead us into the cosmos.